Hi, I'm Alex Vicchetti. I'm an Italian-born and British-bred English teacher and artist, and I'll be taking you around my Sicily on and off the beaten track. Sicily is the definition of a hidden gem, hidden behind a lot of negative stereotypes and bad Hollywood publicity. Through my travels, I hope to uncover a lot of cool, stunning and surprising locations that can be visited for under $100 or $50 a day. So sit back and enjoy AV in Sicily. Hi kids! Today I'm taking you to Ustica, a lovely island north of Palermo which can easily be reached by ferry in just under an hour. The island is absolutely charming, and although you could get around by car or by a bus that pops up every hour or so, I'd strongly recommend renting a quad, a bike or a scooter, especially the scooter. The island's history goes back a few millennia, way before the Romans. The Carthaginians thought it would be a good idea to gather their political dissidents and leave them here to rot and to starve. And for many centuries, the island was actually used as a penal colony by the Romans and the Bourbons, and pirates who raided the island, taking anything they could find, until stable colonization started around the 18th and 19th centuries. Luckily today, it's brimming with beauty and vibrant locals. You start off from the colorful small town of Ustica, scurrying off to the medieval watchtowers all around the island, and the traditional white Mediterranean homes, to the beautiful rustic stone houses spread here and there, to the black volcanic beaches, to lush mountain tops, to 18th century fortresses, and even a very secret military base. A highlight is the boat tour around the island, which allows you to explore its many beautiful caves, which reward the inquisitive with spectacular light shows and deep blue hues, bursting into brilliant highlights and mind-blowing marine life. And a professional spitter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got a little carried away there. Let's move on. What probably struck me the most when I visited with my wife in 2016 was the radical change of scenery, like a film set. All in just eight and a half square kilometers. And I'm not even mentioning it's a diver's paradise because I didn't have any time to see it for myself. And because I'm more of a land animal or that any eatery, and especially fish dishes here, are absolutely out of this world, or that they make homemade pomegranate jam, which will want to make you cry at breakfast for how scrumptious it is. While we were there, we also shot some scenes for my music video, Land of Light, which you can find in a music videos playlist on this channel, along with some other interesting videos. So, whenever you find yourself in Palermo and want to go exploring, treat yourself to this splendid little gem and see you next time. God bless.